Hello there, um, our Ignite children, our Crest children, and your parents. Uh, really great to be back here with you uh, on YouTube as we continue to look at um, Moses and him um, rescuing the Israelites. And we've just finished uh, looking at some of the plagues, and we're now moving on to the last punishment and the Passover. Um, so this is the book I'm using. If you've got it, you can follow along. Um, you may have it, but if not, um, I hope you, you get to know and enjoy this story. This is from Exodus 11. After each disaster that befell the country and people of Egypt, Moses and Aaron went to see the king. They begged him to change his mind and listen to God. But he refused to obey and so saved his people from yet more trouble. After God had sent the night sign, total darkness for three long days. Can you imagine that? This total darkness. How scary is that? The king flew into a rage. Get out of my sight, he shouted at Moses. I never want to set eyes on you again. You won't, Moses told him. But because you will not change your mind, God must do one more terrible thing. After that, you will let his people go. God says, at midnight, I shall go through the whole land of Egypt, and the firstborn son in every family will die, from the palace to the poorest hovel. There will be great crying and mourning in all of Egypt. But the obstinate king, the stubborn king, still paid no attention to Moses or to God's warning. God told Moses that the Israelite people were to be kept safe from their last and worst disaster, just as they had been from the others. But this time they must follow God's instructions, which Moses gave to them. If every family did as God said, the eldest son would be safe when the angel of death went through the land. Moses called all the Israelite leaders together once again. Listen carefully. He told them, for tonight God's angel of death will pass through Egypt, killing the eldest in every family in the land. If you and your families are to be kept safe, this is what God says you must do. Tell every father to choose a good, healthy young lamb or goat from his flock. He is to kill it and to dab some of the blood over the door of his house and on the doorposts. The mother in every family is to cook the meat for a special dinner. When it gets dark, the whole family must stay indoors. The blood on the doors will be the sign to God that you are his obedient people and he will not let his angel of death harm your families. When your children ask what all this means, explain to them that this is God's Passover feast, the time when God will pass over your dwellings to protect you, when all the firstborns in Egypt die. From that day to this, the people of Israel have kept the Passover every year, remembering God's safekeeping on that never to be forgotten night. That is the story of the Passover. Uh, next week, we will look at the Egyptians finally letting the Israelites go and what that looks like. Um, but God is good because he looks after his people. Um, so we can remember that and pray into that. But have a good week. Enjoy your summer holidays and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.